Cool. The first thing I would say is that if you're suffering from sleep problems and you're looking to supplements, you're stepping over dollars to pick up pennies. Okay. What you need to do is think about the fundamentals, regularity, watch your caffeine intake, make sure you're not drinking too much alcohol, get regular, dim down half the lights, digital detox, any one of those, but especially all of them combined, are going to get you log orders of better sleep than reaching for the latest supplement bottle of whatever it is. The second thing to say is think about it from a logical standpoint. If there were really some supplement that promises to be the Shangri-La of all resplendent sleep at night, the drug companies would have been all over it decades ago. To put it in context, it took George Lucas, I think, about 30 years to amass something like $4 billion in revenue from the Star Wars franchise. It took Ambien 22 months. That's how big a business sleep pharma is. Ambien's what, a sleep pill? Ambien is a sleep pill. Magnesium, if you dig into it, and I, I did a deep dive about three years ago because I, I kept hearing it too, this magnesium, magnesium. The first thing to note is that most forms of magnesium, magnesium oxi, uh, oxide or magnesium citrate, most of these forms of magnesium don't cross the blood-brain barrier. <laughs> and sleep is produced by your brain. 